Good morning, viewers. Welcome back to our our little vignette, uh, our Normandy vignette. And uh, I'd like to introduce Elliot. Elliot Jalal is, is here to talk a little bit about painting figures and, and his process for painting figures. Um, we've Dave and I have decided, you know, one step further on our little vignette would be to show uh, scale and, and tell a little, not too strong a story, but just a, a little portion and have the tank commander um, off his tank and, and on the groundwork. So, I, I, um, Dave, I think we both decided today eh, that yeah, showing that, the scale of a figure beside it would be. Yeah, I think I think having a having a figure on a on a diorama like this to give everything uh, perspective from a scale standpoint is is uh, is, is good. Uh, and, and really enhances, uh, or even just in a, in a model, like having a, a figure in the, in the turret uh, or around the model, um, I think really really adds something to it. I mean, those, when you see those at some of the shows, they, the, those vignettes or, or those dioramas really really pop. And, and seeing as I can't paint a figure to save my life, that's why my man Elliot is here to help us out with that, <laughs> as he does a great job with that. And he's going to be um, he's going to be walking us through. Uh, some of the some of the tips and the tools uh, that he uses for for painting, uh, and then we'll do another episode where we'll go into more detail and we'll actually show you, um, you know what uh, what Elliot does on a consistent basis to make uh, a really really nice figure. So yeah, and I and I also think with the size of base that we've chosen and the, and the groundwork and the, and the two columns there from um, from Normandy, there's a space issue too. And sometimes a, a figurine on a base as simple as this just um, closes off some of those areas that are large that, that just need another element and no better than to choose Elliot to do that. So Elliot's going to not paint the figure on our video. He's chosen the Alpine uh, Tank Commander, one of the newer um, releases from Alpine. So we're not going to go through a whole series of seven steps and episodes about painting figures where Dave and I um, this is more a tank and diorama sort of series that we're doing and I think Elliot in the Brumbar series that we're doing for 2018 might be doing a German uh, soldier just to fill in the little hole again but um, we're not going to go into great depth about painting figures this isn't like I say this isn't going to become a, a figure exercise and I, th I think uh, after talking to and being at World Expo and talking to the guys that paint figures, they paint 20 minutes a day every day of the year. Uh, one of the things that would happen with our viewers would be bored out of their minds. Um, plus two, it's, it's I, a process, I, yeah. I, think, I think what they were really saying was that they practice. You know, they practice daily yep. to paint figures. Yep. And um, I, th I think that, like great hockey player, Sidney Crosby, he's the first on the ice at the practice and he's last off, and it's just practice and practice and practice. And I, Elliot, I can just by looking at your figures over the last couple of years, I, I would imagine it's. I mean, you must paint figures all the time, you know. Yeah, I, I, I try to. You know, uh, probably sit by like for this project, I probably sit an hour each day and painted away at it, practicing and trying to develop new uh, techniques. Yeah. So, figure painting is a, is a different. Um, thing that we do all together. It requires the most patience and it, um, it it eats up most of the clock. So like I say, our videos are not going to become a painting exercise with 17 hours of, <laughs> of practice on, on painting these things. But our, I think that uh, we'll let Elliot take it away um, and talk about the steps in painting and um, We'll just leave it up to Elliot. So here's Elliot to tell us about the figure painting. 